Alrighty, hi everyone, this is Ionic, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how charm cutting is done. So, charm cutting is a different method where you get a bunch of mobs and you kill them as well. But it's a bit different in that um, it's it's a bit safer. You don't have to have that mobs the mobs that close to you. Uh, you're basically using a swarm of mobs to beat down on a me uh, a pet, a mob that you charm and make as a pet, and you break the charm as soon as your pet gets low health. That's essentially what you're doing. So, uh, one of the advantages, uh, some of the advantages of charm kiting over uh, AoE dot swarm kiting is that you can take mobs that have larger hitboxes, so you can do giants, um, where they can hit you from farther ranges. You can't swarm kite giants, AoE dot swarm kite giants, because they're just too big. Or you can uh, you can charm kite mobs that have so on that run faster. So I'm going to show actually on these vicious raptors, they run too fast to AOE uh, dot kite, but they it doesn't matter with bard speed you can actually outrun them um, and charm kite them. So the general concept is this: you uh, you want to pull a bunch of them and you don't want to do any sort of aggro generation towards them. You don't want to do any damage on them, anything that could cause aggro. You just want to pull um, every single one of them, except for the, the one you intend to make a pet, with uh, social aggro. So you're just barely on the aggro table. And you need to do that, or it won't work right. Because what um, if you're on the aggro table, they'll keep chasing you instead of breaking off and hitting your pet. So you pull them all, and charm one of them, and attack the other one of the mobs in the swarm and then pull all the mobs in the swarm on your pet and beat it down and when your pet gets low health you want to break that charm um, as fast as possible so you break charms with uh, invis so you can break it with Celo's song of travel you could break it with your own bard invis song you could break it with uh, racial ability hide but i don't like any of those because the bard songs take four seconds to cast and that might be too long your pet might be dead by then and i um one of the issues too is that Celo Song of Travel breaks you out of so of Celo's Acceleronda. They don't stack, so you're going to be going slow again. And um, with the Bard Invis, you have to have the Stringed Instrument equipped, which is also really inconvenient. The Hide ability, it's a hit or miss. It doesn't always work. So the best guaranteed charm break, and it's instant too. You don't have to wake. Wait is the Goblin Gazuki Ring. That you get in Lake Ill Omen. So you can't cast this, you can't use it while you have a songs activated. So you have to stop songs, like this macro here. You stop your songs. You have to target yourself. And then you have to, uh because this thing is a targeted click, and then click yourself. Right click. And that breaks the charm. So let's get into it. Still recording. Oh, one of the issues too, that there's uh, one issue with this with the bar charm kiting, is you will run out of mana. The uh, upper level bar charm spell actually does use mana, and that is the crux of this. That and uh, part of the thing is I haven't explained. Bard mana regen is glitched out. They there's nothing that can be done to boost a bard's mana regen. Absolutely nothing. The fastest you can do to mana to regen uh, mana as a bard is just sit, and you're still getting two two things per tick. It's crazy. You're arguably the best mana regen in this game, but you can't use any of it. But prior to uh, prior to level 39, prior to any mobs, I think you can charm the one the mana song that doesn't. I mean the charm song that doesn't use mana works up to like the 40s, like 41 or 42. You can use uh, use that mobs at that level, and that'll work completely fine. But once you get higher. 
um, and you still plan on soloing this way, you're gonna need more. You're gonna need, uh, you're gonna have to have some downtime finally. So, but anyways, there's some camps you can do where the downtime is just long enough to the point where you can regen all your mana. So, I can show one of those in an upcoming video. So let's get down there, and we are going to start. Um, one of the things I like about this method, too, is it's so much safer than swarm kiting. You're much more protected against lag spikes, because you can keep some distance. But let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to take a raptor. I'm going to charm it. And send it into the swarm. And now I need to run back and get the swarm on my pet. Now I need to stop song, target myself, and get ready to break. Okay, broke the charm. Now I need to target the one that was low health. 19%. And beat it down with uh, my single target dots. Oh, it's from one charm. So the more mobs you have, I mean, the faster your health, your your pet's health is going to go down. But also, kind of more risky that if you don't break that charm in time, you just lost out on all that exp. But the earlier you break the charm, the more health that's on the mob, the longer you have to spend beating it down for that last portion. And you don't want to have a pet do the majority of the damage because it'll take half the EXP. So you want to break it prior to that pet doing the damage, really. Okay, maybe just two more casts of this, and it is down. These guys really don't drop any loot worth talking home about. That's why I don't really do this camp. But this is more just for a conceptual basis. Okay, so let's target and find... Okay, that was the one that got damaged. Let's take it and send it back into this one. And there we go. Stop song, target myself. Oh, they broke off. F1, F1. Oh, wow. So, um, if you click F1 a couple times, it'll actually pull you, uh, target your pet. That was something I saw on wikis. You target myself and break. Oh, I lost that EXP. Yeah, you can kind of see. It gets a bit harder when there's more mobs. And you want to be tap targeting. That'll help you get through all the mobs. Because there's no way you can find the one that was damaged. So you really need to kind of get that reset. Okay, get ready to break. And now. Perfect. Where did that come from? Alright, that's pretty much all. I just wanted to show I was done. Alright, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, we'll see you later.